Aloha Bros has it. So today we got a nice little vampire themed residence for you in the Ebon Heart Chateau residence. Really big, uh, really big house here. It's one of the ones I think you have to pay. I'm pretty sure you can use cash to pay for it, but if, if not, you're going to end up spending five digits in crown points. So here, I, I honestly have to say this dude went all out. This is probably the most beautiful vampire or Diedrich themed residents I've ever seen like this guy spared no detail man like I'm showing just some panned images or panned like little snippets of the residence here but eventually I will get into a tour film from my buddy's point of view he has his recorders just I think has better quality than mine so that's why so this is the entrance and as he walks through the gateway you already see that Diedrich little door way or that gateway there which is really nice and then you got a bunch of these really dark purpley trees which fits the theme very well even that gargoyle there on that fountain i'm i'm not sure if that's there already when you buy it but I, I'm pretty she probably put it in there here you have a little senchat sencha senchat senchat no senchi rot i don't know something weird from elsewhere so he starts off at the top of the stairs here, and you already see a Molag Ball statue. Can't go up after these stairs, but I mean, like that's just that's just beautiful. Like details like that is what makes me so happy to do these tours. Now here in this little house area, you got that little, little Khajiit holding some ball, one of, probably one of those orbs where you can buy from furnishers, achievement furnishers. And then you got some trophies on the wall there from his dungeons that he's completed and then you have that tree just you know planted in the wall inside so that's kind of cool sorry if you can hear that in the background of somebody sneezing my brothers are sneezing so i'm gonna keep doing the tour outside um this right here i have no idea what he used to make i'm pretty sure this is not part of of whatever comes with this residence but holy crap it's like a little crypt or a mausoleum and you, you see, you can, I know the Eleanor Greenhouse is in the back with some stained glass windows or something to block like the transparency of the Eleanor Greenhouse windows. But I have no idea what it is, but I know most of that is probably some Eleanor stuff that he, like Eleanor structural stuff that he used. He, he'll probably answer you if you have any questions down in the comments. So he, he's the one that wanted me to see one of his residents in a pre previous video. So like even back there, like the, spared no detail man this is this was really really well done can't stress that enough got the gargoyles right here on the pedestals up to the stairs don't know where you can buy that from maybe elsewhere maybe i've seen that in elsewhere i'm not 100 percent sure and yeah so i guess that's so that's the courtyard gorgeous courtyard now we're gonna enter inside now in here he like if you look at the walls he sunk in some carpets into the walls to have it like kind of blend in with the rest of the building throughout the whole residence, right? So th that's freaking amazing. This middle thing here is probably something from the, um, is it the Reach? The, one of the more recent DLCs, one of the vampire ones, right? Just to fit the theme. We see he sunk this, this greenish carpet. I'm not sure if it's Eleanor or if it's elsewhere or whatever, but he sunk that same green carpet into the walls everywhere and it, it, it just blends in so freaking nice. Here he has some like Halalu bookcases and uh, shelves and stuff. This is like the dining area. I don't know what in the back that is. I don't know, it looks like an aquarium to me where he also, I think has another you know, Molek ball or something statue, which is Jesus Christ, look at that. He put a freaking aquarium in the freaking dining room, man. That is just beautiful. And then throughout the whole building, you'll have these vampire uh, paintings that you can find in Western Skyrim, which, you know, can sell for a lot if you got the right buyer. So, yeah, so that's that's the dining room. So now I think we're going to head. I forgot where we head. Remember, this is not, I, I'm the other guy. This is my buddy, yeah, Feci Liquor right there. You see, Feci Liquor, that's me. So this is the other, my other buddy filming. Okay, so he goes upstairs, I guess. Got the vampire stained glass from the um, scrying, like antiquarian scrying. 
Here you have some El Sawir, like chaise lounge upholstered, very bougie, very nice, very luxurious. You know, throughout, you just, you know, you just, you really have to appreciate the details. Even th this wood, I'm pretty sure he put here. Now, this, this I really like. This has a very, um, he sunk in the El, I, think those, I think those are El Sawir poster beds, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure they're El Sawir. He put trees in the ceiling, you know, just for texture, and then he put, he sunk the beds inside. He got this little horn here, and then up top, he got a nice use of the vines. Those are the Moonlit Cove vines from Southern Elsewhere that you can get after completing a certain amount of challenges. Now, this, this bath area is so beautiful, man. <laughs> Definitely a little more unique. I haven't seen that before, so. There you got a little teddy bear on that little counter right there, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, this is mostly upstairs. Guess the vampires have to bathe in blood every once in a while. I don't know. Another vampire stained glass that he found there. Not an easy lead to find. You see that painting right here? That is a vampire building. Vampire painting, not building, painting. And down here is kind of like a, it's very prison-y. Has a very prison feel, like you just, you capture people and then you torture them. You do whatever the hell you want. You've got the same green, like, um, tapestries on the walls that he just, he, he put everywhere on this building to make it consistent. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy, yeah? You got the display box right here. Look at that crap. Holy crap. I, mean, I forgot, I don't know what he put in that. In jars? Specimen jars? Yeah. Th those are, uh, I'm not sure if that's a plan. Might be something you had to buy. I don't know, it could be. Not 100% sure. See those Diedrich sconces on the walls? Those are typically luxury furnishing items. 10K. I'm pretty sure it was on sale this week. I'm not sure if you just bought it. And then you have a nice little uh, altar here. Worshipping, uh, that looks, that Mufala? Who the hell is that? But yeah, it's very, very nice. You got a vampire carpet on the ground. I wonder how much it cost to make a residence like this, man. There's, there's no way, uh, there's no way this was cheap. Unless he's been like saving up for a very long time or something. Yeah, and then we're getting near to the end of the video, but I'm just gonna finish off here. You got those mushrooms in the back from Western Skyrim that you can buy. Another statue here. A lot of these, uh, a lot of these you can buy. It, it was either in the the Reach DLC or the Western Skyrim DLC. Uh, and part of the achievement furnishings. So if you do enough quests, you can actually get access to them and buy them, even though they are very costly, so keep that in mind. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's it, man. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Mahalo so much for tuning in. Nearing 800 subs, which, which is awesome. <laughs> it's way too much, man. Like, you guys are way too nice. This is just unreal. So uh, hope to see you again. Take it easy. Mahalo.